For some reason, this weekend, when we honor mothers, this country saw a spike in gun violence. In fact, that's where we're going to start with some breaking news out of California for you. At least one person is dead and multiple others injured after a shooting in Hollywood. The Los Angeles Fire Department says that the victims were all adults and those injured have been transported to area hospitals. Three are in critical condition. A motive for the shooting is unclear, at least at this moment. And this comes after a deadly Mother's Day weekend. At least 10 mass shootings happened across the country. That is a According to the Gun Violence Archive in Colorado, authorities are investigating another mass shooting less than seven weeks after a gunman killed 10 people at a supermarket in that state. Laura Podesta is with us now from New York City. Laura, there was another incident that happened there this weekend as well in New York. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Yes, in Times Square, police say two to four men got into a fight. One of them opened fire shooting three innocent bystanders. Now that shooter is still on the run this morning. The NYPD says they do know who he is, that he has gotten in trouble for illegal vending in the Times Square area before. A manhunt is underway in New York after a shooting in Times Square. All three are innocent bystanders. All are expected to survive, including a four-year-old girl seen here being rushed to an ambulance by Officer Alyssa Vogel. In Massachusetts, a man is dead after driving an SUV through the doors of the Leicester police station. The man exited the vehicle and immediately shouldered what appeared to be a rifle and aimed it at the police officers. The police officers then fired and shot the man. Police in Colorado Springs are searching for a motive after a gunman killed six adults at a birthday party before killing himself. This is terrible for a lot of people in a lot of ways. Just outside of Baltimore, cops say a 56-year-old man shot his neighbors and set fire to his own townhouse. Witnesses say it was possibly to lure people outside. There are three fatal victims. Police shot and killed the man when they arrived on scene. And in Phoenix, a shooting at a hotel left one dead and seven injured. A group of people that were attending a function inside the hotel had some sort of altercation prior to the shooting. The rash of shootings may reignite the gun debate in Washington, which quieted down after a string of deadly shootings more than a month ago. This has to end. It's a national embarrassment. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been at least two dozen shootings this month where four or more people were shot. President Biden is expected to meet with congressional leaders on Wednesday. It's unclear if gun control will be on the agenda, but as we know, Anne Marie, President Biden has been very outspoken about ending what he calls the epidemic of gun violence in America. He certainly has been. Uh, you gave us a whole list of shootings that have happened across the country. Do we know the motive or motives behind any of these shootings? Well, in the Colorado Springs shooting, Anne Marie, we know that this was a targeted and an isolated attack. Police say that the gunman shot and killed his girlfriend, as well as uh, five others at the birthday party before turning the gun on himself. In Phoenix, it also appears to be an isolated incident. There were several people between the ages of 18 and 22 attending a party or a function at the Phoenix Hotel. Um, that fight that uh, was started at that function escalated to the point where there was the shooting and Murray. Wow. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Thanks.